Hey now, and welcome to the KC Toy Reviews. We are here today with the Cobra Baroness by GD Toys. Or is it Good Toys? GD Toys? Good Toys? Whatever it is. In front of us, we have a pretty sought after one six scale release within the Baroness because there hasn't been one in quite some time, possibly since the Sideshow version. And while this one is a decent release, unfortunate to say there were a few quality concerns. So if you're at all curious about those details, then let's go ahead, hold each other's hands, and dive right the hell goddamn in. <laughs> all right, so here we are with The Baroness by Good Toys. And as I mentioned and hinted at in the beginning of this video, there are a few quality concerns right off the bat. One being the chest piece, and I will get to it in a little bit more detail, but unfortunately, I had no idea how to get this chest piece on. So I hate to do it, but I'm going to do it anyways. But as you can see right here, basically snapped right at the seam there. And that unfortunately is on both sides of this chest piece. Now, of course, once we snap that chest piece back together, put the arm down, you really can't see it and it's not too horrible. It's just unfortunate, again, for the price point of these pieces for anything to break outside of the box. So next, let's immediately jump into this head sculpt and why don't we go ahead and remove the hood here. I don't wanna mess up this rooted hair. Looks a little messy. So there we have it, the head sculpt. Now, unfortunately, somebody really kind of screwed it up for me and they called it a Bratz or a Brat, whatever the hell those things are. And well, my daughter does have those figures and now it's kind of stuck in my head that it does look like that. Now, whether it's in person or through the camera, there is zero texture or anything to this face whatsoever. It's basically a flat, matted, painted skin tone on that face, the lip. And while there is a slight glisten to the eyes and actually decent detail to the eyes, I think that's what makes it a little weird. I'm almost seeing some hints of a battle angel within this face sculpt with those overly large animated eyes. And then if anybody cares, one last look on the side here. The glasses are quote unquote an accessory. I'm probably not going to take them off. It doesn't really make too much sense. Baroness has glasses. But you can take those on and off. And then, I'm not sure if anybody cares, but they are hollow. There's no actual glasses in those frames there. Now, as far as articulation on the head sculpt, everything that you could imagine, zero complaints there. And just a quick note to the rooted hair. I mean, it's rather nice. I don't think I have any complaints on the rooted hair. I mean, I don't think I'm going to spend too much time on the hair, but it is all rooted, has a kind of a nice wave to it. It's very frizzy in areas. The only thing and fear that I always have with rooted hair is over time, it's going to look like hell. However, um, I don't know, with some decent maintenance and the way it already looks, hopefully over time it keeps that same feel. Now, it does feel like a seamless body underneath here. It's always a perplexing choice when you have a fully covered suit. I don't really get that. However, the reason I'm noting it is we might as well just do it now. As far as articulation underneath, fantastic. You can bend and do whatever the hell you want. It's just with a leather, pleather-ish suit like this. I mean, this feels like better quality than the Jessica Resident Evil that I just reviewed. However, I am stressing and noting this because if you're going to keep it in a bend for too long, you're going to get these little creases and areas here that I would be careful with over time that could cause damage. And as we make our way down here, we have the cobra symbol right there on the boobies. We have another cobra symbol right here above the elbow. So there's cobra symbols basically all around downtown. And I do want to stress, in my opinion, this chest piece really overemphasizes the boobies on the Baroness here. I'm not sure that was necessary because if we do take this off, it was basically normal. Now this belt piece here it actually goes on as an individual... I don't know, accessory or separate piece. The only reason I note it, we kind of see it kind of resting right under her hair there, is it goes on via a Velcro piece and the quality and the stitching on that was very, very shoddy. So if you do get this, if you already have it, be very, very careful taking that little belt on and off because my guess is it's not going to last very long. And the same thing as the belt, this gun holster, this knife holster, you actually have to put on yourself. I'm not going to say it was hard, but I'm not going to go out and say it was easy. I think any of these figures that are doing this Build-A-Bear thing where we have to plug on the chest piece that I'm snapping off, the belt that looks like it's about to fall off next, and then microscopic belt buckles for the gun holster and the knife. In my opinion, we're a little bit ridiculous. Maybe there's people out there that like it, but I'm gonna go out on a limb and say most of the community does not wanna do those things. And then lastly, as far as kind of the body's concerned, same thing, we do have pretty fantastic articulation in the legs here, this leather suit. The leather suit and the quality throughout is decent. 
I mean, we have this pattern here, smooth gloss material that moves all the way down. The knee pads seem to be pretty firmly on there. And then, like I said, as far as articulation, oh, whoa, God. I can feel that it can go up further than that, but because of the suit, it doesn't want to bend too much more. So I'm going to go ahead and leave it like that. You can bend and stress and do whatever the hell you want to that thing. I would just be very, very careful. And then down here, the ankles have pretty nice articulation on them. Zero complaints other than the fact that you do have this bunch in that starts to happen on top of here. This one has it a little bit going on there. Not too nice looking. I'm sure if you can finagle with it, you might be able to pull that out of there. But it's on a basic ball joint down there. So, however, because it's on high heels, you're basically screwed without that stand. And as far as accessories, as we can see, she has a goddamn arsenal. It's basically John Wick's basement here. And unless these are just kind of crafted and taken from some other lineup that has all these little mechanical pieces, in my opinion, they are just completely unnecessary. I mean, I could take the stock off of this thing. I can take the sniper rifle scope off of this. I'm not going to do it because I'm going to snap something off there. I can put scopes on this here. I can put a clip into this gun here. I mean, it, it is just so unnecessary. And we got a sword here, which was actually really nice quality. I feel like this is die cast, so the sword was decent quality. And lastly, we have the included stand. And I think everybody is already in agreement that this stand is fantastic. It has this rock sculpted looking base. If you want, you can take this piece out, you can turn it around, and you can put it on this side. So you do have a few different options. I think GD Toys has done us a solid with this base. I would say this is probably one of the nicest included bases I've seen in a long time. And just a brief side-by-side -side with the 3-0 G.I. Joe line with Roadblock to the left and Firefly to the right. Both a hero and a villain side-by-side -side with the good toys Baroness. Now a few things to note, well, Firefly, Roadblock, and of course the rest of the lineup with the 3-0 G.I. Joe are damn near masterpieces. So it's very difficult when you do have them side by side because it is a glaring difference in my opinion. Just the body proportions, the scale, there are things that are slightly off and I'm not sure that Firefly would actually tower over Baroness this much. With that said, I think I'm being a little bit anal and critical as always, they don't look horrible next to one another. It's just, it boils down to that face sculpt on Baroness and, it, and it's constantly throwing me off through this whole review. And there we have it. The Baroness by GD slash Good Toys. After close observation, looking at this thing through the lens this entire time, I would say I'm quite pleasantly surprised. The Build-A-Bear style stuff, like attaching the holsters on her legs, the belt and the chest piece, are a goddamn travesty. It's a slight pain in the ass, and of course my chest piece split right down the middle on each side. And who wants to pay $240 for something and have it break right out of the box? If there is some special way of putting it on, they should have included instructions. And of course, any of my viewers, if you did find some special way, please comment below so everybody else knows and nobody else goes through the same misfortune as I did. The leather pleather-ish suit I think is actually a nice material. It feels a lot better than the Jessica from SW Toys that I have recently reviewed. It has a lot of texture throughout the outfit. And then, of course, the chest piece with the cobra symbol really gives that iconic Baroness look. As far as the accessories, the sword was awesome. It was die cast. Everything else was pretty nice. I mean, there was zero complaints. The only thing I was really complaining about was it was just too much. I don't think we need clips and, and scopes and all this stuff. It's kind of like we're trying to be our own mini John Wick. But for people like me that are 6'2", 200 pounds, my hands are like a goddamn giant. Putting on these holsters and these clips and all these little knickknacks together end up being a goddamn pain in the ass. But it's a small gripe and there probably is a crowd out there that enjoys it. And some last bullet points, articulation's great, but be careful. It's a leather outfit, it's going to crease, it could crumble, and depending on your humidity and climate, there could be some long run damage. The ankles felt nice, the knees, well, not so much. I couldn't get them to bend too much, but the arms had fantastic articulation. The head had great articulation, and then, of course, the head slash face sculpt itself is something to be desired. 
It looks straight out of an anime. There is basically zero detail in that head sculpt. It's a little bit disappointing, and I think the expression should have been a little bit different also. We should have had like an evil grin or some type of mean look. And with all that said, I think it's a good time to wrap this up and slap a score on this figure. And what's coming to mind, it's not going to be high, but it's not going to be low. We're going to round this out with an 8.1 out of 10. I think there's a few things on the figure itself that clearly could be tweaked, and I probably would say suggest this if you are a major G.I. Joe fan. Crossing my fingers that 3-0 does come out with something because as I said, this is basically a placeholder until somebody comes out with something better. I don't hate it, but I'm not necessarily in love with it. So with an 8.1 out of 10, we're going to go ahead and wrap it up here today at Casey Toys with The Baroness by G.D. Toys. Catch you guys next time. Casey Toys out. Brown!